Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome to my first video on patch 2.6. This is going to be an exciting one, a Mumu and a Misfortune down in the bottom lane. Now Misfortune got some buffs and also a Mumu got changed as well. But for those who don't know on PC League of Legends, a Mumu and Misfortune was really really strong down in the bot lane when a Mumu got changed with the double bandage toss. Now it's come to Wild Rift, Minix Scoundrel thought... Why not let's give it a try, you know, Miss Fortune got some buffs, she got her movement speed uh, increased on her second ability and also her AD and AP ratio got increased as well on her ultimate. And then Mumu got a bunch of changes as well that I don't want to go too in depth into because I want to focus more on Miss Fortune. Now, where did Miss Fortune build? This is more of a lethality armor penetration build with Miss Fortune. There are loads of different ways you can play her. You can play with Man Immune as well. You can play her with, you know, crit orientated build as well with Solari Charge Blade. There's loads of different ways, but I tried out the Fality build because of the new item, Edge of Night. Gives you that maximum health and attack damage and also the armor penetration as well. But a really nice part about Edge of Night and what makes it really good on Misfortune is that it grants a spell shield that blocks the next... It says hostile ability. I'm not really too sure what they're saying. Hostile ability. But the next enemy ability, I guess you could say. Uh, this spell shield refreshes upon leaving combat with the enemy champions. And it's only a 35 second cooldown as well. Which is actually surprisingly short cooldown compared to, you know, other things. Like, say, Bone Plane, for example, which has a 45 second cooldown. But Edge of Night works really, really well with Fortune. Obviously, sometimes when she's in her ultimate, you do have to be careful of the crowd control. But if you do have Edge of Night up and available, if someone tries to come up to you and tries to crowd control you, your ultimate will still keep going, which is really, really crucial. Then for the other items for Misfortune, the first item is a Dusk Blade. Again, gives you more attack damage and ability haste and also armor penetration. Second, causing your next attack against the champion to deal bonus physical damage and also slow, which is really nice for Misfortune. Grudge is the go-to item for Misfortune. Allowing your abilities to slow is really, really nice, especially with your third ability and your ultimate. And this gives you a bucket ton full of armor penetration and even more attack damage and ability haste. You can see where we're going with this build as well. Then you have Infinity Edge, which is the only crit item. But the reason why you still build Infinity Edge, even though this is a sort of armor penetration build, is that your first ability is always guaranteed to crit. So obviously with Infinity Edge, your critical strikes deal 230% damage instead of 200. So this just increases the damage of your first ability as it's pretty much your main damage source with Misfortune. If you don't include the ultimate as well, if you can get a really good ultimate off with a Mumu's Curse of the Sad Mummy. You get attack damage and you get that crit rate as well. So you get like a 25% chance to be able to crit with your auto attacks as well. You might get a little bit lucky with that. But you can flex these two last items around. When you do build the Dust Blade, the Grudge and the Edge of Night. You can go for Guardian Angel as well if you want to. If you want to just play that little bit safer. Gives you attack damage and armor and that allows you to resurrect as well. Which is really nice. But like I said, there's loads of different ways you can build um, Misfortune. The one thing I will mention with this build is that you do struggle a lot with mana. That's why some people do build Man Immune as well. I feel like Man Immune is just a bit too slow with Misfortune. You want to try and get that early power spike as soon as possible. Because this is where Misfortune will shine. You know, if you get your Dust Blade early on, if you get your Grudge as well. If you can get that Curse of the Sad Bullet Time, which is the name of the <laughs> Amumu and the Misfortune Ultimate. Which is a classic League of Legends combo. Um... If you can get that bullet time off, and if you can combo that with Curse of Sand Mummy, it can do a lot of damage. For the runes, Conqueror, still the go-to rune. I was thinking of actually trying Aerial with Misfortune, as you're, most of the time you're going to go with like this poke build. But because we don't have Man Immune in this build, it's going to be really hard to keep procking Summon Aerie. Because we're not going to be spamming our abilities a lot. So Conqueror is there still. You gain that, uh, stacks of Adaptive Force when hitting the champion with separate attacks and abilities. Still really, really strong. Still gives you a bunch of damage. Brutal still gives you that early AD and armor penetration early on. Obviously, Misfortune with her double up and with her passive does a lot of damage in the early game. Bone Plating just to keep her alive just in case any assassins jump onto her. And then you have Sweet Tooth as well for the extra honey fruit healing and the extra gold. And then for spells, we have Flash and Heal. But yeah, me and the Scoundrel had a lot of fun with Misfortune and a movement in the bot lane. 
it still might take a little bit of practice to be honest. We still haven't mastered it just yet. There was a few missed plays here and there, a few int plays here and there as well. But it's still a bunch of fun to play. I'm going to still try a few different builds on Misfortune as well. I've been trying other champions as well. Be on the lookout on this YouTube channel for Varus. I've been playing Ash. I'm going to try Zaya, even though she got nerfed as well. See, uh, see how she is. Going to be playing more Lucian as well, because obviously I'm a Lucian one trick now. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of content on this channel, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And as always, enjoy the gameplay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you all very soon. Peace.